Hey guys, it's I Rap Apple here bringing you a video on how to jailbreak the iOS 4 for the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch non MC model. Now, what this means is for the regarding the iPod Touch, you can do this with the non MC model by checking that. You can go to your settings, general, and about, and over there you will find model if it says MB and then a number then you're fine you can go ahead with this jailbreak but if it says MC and then a number you, then you can go ahead with this jailbreak so for for the iPhone 3GS the same thing the same thing goes towards it go to settings general and about if you see MB and then a number then you're good to go if you see a MC and then a number then you guys have to wait for the universal jailbreak <clears throat> so for the iPhone 3G any device will work that's the good thing I'm on iPhone 3G so the first thing I want you guys to do all links will be in the download description so uh, right here this is the first website I want you guys to go on it's called felixbrunch.de it's, it's gonna be in the description so I want you to hit the drop down bar find your respective device mine is the iPhone 3G 4.0 I wanna hit that and then press download well I already have it saved on my desktop so that's step number one. Step number two is going navigating to the Dev Team blog, and here, when like the first page is about Ponish Tool 4.0.1 info. I want you guys to read this very carefully. Now, please, I'm gonna leave this in the link. In I mean, I'm gonna leave this in the description, and I want you guys to read this over. So, uh, after you've downloaded your uh, your firmware from Felix Bruns. <coughs> I want you guys to uh, restore in iTunes, and everyone should know how to do that. You guys have to press uh, Shift, restore by putting your device in, and then choosing that firmware. So here's Pointer Tool, and to download it, um, I will leave the Dev Team blog. I want you guys to scroll down, and you guys should ignore the official BitTorrent releases. I want you guys to hit uh, the first one where it's where it's under France. I want you to download that. Just click it, and it should down uh, should a uh, download box should show up. Save it to your desktop, which I already have. We're gonna get exit out. And just a reminder that this, after after you're done jailbreaking, you can unlock it via via uh, Ultra Snow. I will leave a link to the source, and I will show you guys how to do it here. Very simple. So next, I want you to open Pornish Tool. And we get a warning, you know, copyright the iPhone dev team. So over here, it tells, it tells us to choose our device, iPhone 3G, continue. So right now, it's, gonna, it's searching for a firmware we can uh, use. But hold on, let me hit expert mode, because we want to go expert mode. It's way better. It already recognized my firmware, so I'm going to hit next, select it, hit next. And over here, we get couple of options so we're gonna start off with general and make our way to the end so, <clears throat> so over here general settings uh, do I want to activate the phone yes enable baseband update no re-enable functionality so there's multitasking home screen wallpaper battery percentage hit that we want to hit next okay right here CDS settings we get to uh, select our packages download packages from here or manage sources and to unlock your iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS I want you to type this source right here. So uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. I just want you guys when you guys go to Cydia and add a source. Well, I'll just write it here for you guys. Hold up. So you want to type in HTTP colon slash slash repo dot six 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 dot ultra snow and the O in ultra snow is a zero dot com. I want you to add the source, and once we add, we can hit next. And we want to have CD installer, of course. We want to install CD on next custom boot logo. So, uh, yes, I want both of them, they look pretty funny. So, I'm just gonna keep them next. And once you're done all this, we can hit build next. And where do, uh, it says, Where do you want to save? I want to just want to save it on desktop, save. Now it's gonna build. It takes about five minutes, like 
it won't take it won't take too long, say maximum five minutes. Um, at the middle of this, it's gonna ask you for your password for your computer. This takes a while, so I'm gonna come back. Okay, guys. So the firmware, the custom firmware is done, and when it's done, it should be on your desktop right around here. It should say iPhone or iPod Touch 4.0.88293 Custom Restore. Remember, custom. Because when you guys go into iTunes, you guys are gonna have to uh, select this one. So right now we're at the DFU stage. Uh, it wants us to turn off our device. So I'm just gonna turn mine off. Let me just get a minute here. So my mine's just turning off. So it's gonna DFU mode. It helps you uh, restore your device. So uh, it's just waiting to recognize my uh, DFU. Hold up. And now it's gonna say prepare to hold the home and power buttons. So hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Remember to follow these instructions on Ponage tool. This is to go in DFU mode. Okay, now prepare to release and now just hold the home button for 10 seconds. Remember, read these instructions, guys. And then after this is done, it should say if you're successful or not. I turned off, it said fail to enter DFU mode for me because uh, I turned off my device and I didn't try DFU mode because I'm already jailbroken with uh, 4.0. So what you guys will do is just follow these instructions and it should say enter DFE mode successfully. So what you want to do is open iTunes, press uh, shift restore, and select the custom firmware and you're all done. So that's uh, that's basically it guys. Um, I rep Apple here and I'll see you guys in the next one.